In this video we're going to explore adding and subtracting fractions. Now when we add and subtract fractions, the first thing we want to do is find a common denominator. We then change them to the equivalent fractions so that we can add and subtract the numerators and we keep that common denominator. Then we simplify our, our sum or our difference. If we put this into notation, if we have a over b plus c over d, we can see we've got the multiplication from the common denominator and then we keep that common denominator and it's either adding or subtracting. Let's look at an example. Say we have three fifths plus six sevenths. First thing we do is find the common denominator which is 35 because it's five times seven. Then we want to change each of our fractions to their equivalent fraction. So we get three fifths becomes 21 30 fifths and six sevenths becomes 30 30 fifths. Now I'm going to add my numerators and keep my denominator, which gives me 51 35ths. Now if I want to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions, that's often something we see, especially as we're teaching in elementary school. First thing we do is we break the whole number from the fraction. Because saying like 3 and 2 thirds is the same as saying 3 plus 2 thirds. And so we can split them then we can convert that whole number into an actual fraction with the common denominator of the fraction I have and then we can add our numerators and keep the denominator just like we just did big thing to watch is if you have negative if you have a negative mixed number you kinda ignore that negative sign until you finish converting the values then you put the negative sign back on at the end so say I have five and two thirds and I want to convert that into an improper fraction. I'm going to split them apart and say I'm going to change my 5 to 5 over 1. Say what's my common denominator? In this case it would be 3. So I need to multiply this by 3 so I get 15 thirds plus 2 thirds and that's going to give me 17 thirds. So 5 and 2 thirds is the same as 17 thirds. Now we can convert our decimals as well. We want to start by turning that decimal into a mixed number. Anything to the left of the decimal place will always be the whole number. And then everything to the right will be our fraction. Now we have to pay attention to what are our place values to be able to convert this properly. And then we can follow our steps just as we would for changing mixed numbers to improper fractions. So let's look at what we have here. 2 and 357 thousandths to an improper fraction. First thing we want to recognize, the whole number is 2. The decimal is 357 thousandths. So that means we're going to take 357 and put it over 1,000. So now I have 2, and then I have 357 over 1,000, and I can convert it now to my improper fraction. 2 times 1,000 plus 357. So my improper fraction would be 2,357 over 1,000. 